welcome back to my channel! I am so excited for today's video, like I am for every other video, but I'm really, really excited for today's video because it is a collaboration with a very dear friend of mine. Her name is Hello Kaylee. I stumbled upon her blog, Once Upon a Midnight. It wasn't a dreary night. It was a good night when I found her blog. But anyways, I found her blog quite a long time ago, and then she started making videos, and I was like, hey, I make videos, and I emailed her, and I was like, do you want to collab? And she said yes, and I was like, ah! And then we decided to do collaboration, so that's literally how it happened. It was a lot of, like, OMGs, a whole bunch of yays, and a whole bunch of exclamation marks all together. Um, this week on Tay's Life, we're actually going to be doing two collaborations today with Hello Kaylee and Friday with another one of my favorite people in the whole world, so I'm super excited about that. And we're actually not talking about makeup at all this week on Tay's Life Unscripted. We're going to get to the nitty gritty on some of my other favorite pastimes, and so I'm so excited to share that part of my life with you as well because you don't really get to see a whole lot of that. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll be sure to give you some more items like this. I'm sure you probably wanna know what the video is about by now, don't you? <laughs> well, I will tell you. Okay, I will. So our video that we're doing is we're doing the healthy DIY Halloween treat versus the guilty DIY Halloween treat. And I am so, so pumped. I will be doing the healthy version, so this will go under my healthy series that I have going on right now and Kaylee will be doing the guilty one. So if you want to have a little something healthy on Halloween night or around Halloween then be sure to stay tuned for my treats and then once you watch my healthy treat go over and indulge yourself for Haley's guilty Halloween treat. Alright guys let's get cooking. Alright guys so welcome to my kishon. Kishon de te. Kishon de te. That's where it I like it. I like it. So today we are making granola pumpkins and I'm so excited about this. I found both of these recipes on Pinterest and I kind of combined the two of them. So I'll leave the blog post to the two recipes I found that I combined down below. Basically we are taking a granola recipe and we're going to make them into pumpkins instead of granola bars and I'm so excited about it because I like pumpkins and I think they're real real cute. So let's get started with the ingredients that we need for today. The first thing we need is oats right here. These are just your Target Market Pantry oats. It doesn't matter what kind of oats you have. Um, it says rolled oats, but I have the quick oats. So we're going to use the quick oats because I've got to use these up because I have a crap ton of them. The next thing the recipe calls for is honey. And I just got the Thrifty Bee Honey right here. You can use any honey that you would like. It didn't specify or anything like that. So I just got some honey. The third thing you're going to need is some coconut oil. And I use the Luana coconut oil. So I'll pop that up for you so you can take a look. Also, my cat is going cray cray in the background. It's like 10 o'clock at night when I'm filming this. <laughs> Anyways, I. The, so you need coconut oil. And then. The last thing you need is some chocolate chips for some funny faces, of course, to put on our jack-o'-lanterns. So these are super cute. I got the mini ones so I can make some mini little faces on my jack-o'-lanterns. So let's get started. I have our cup measure right here. The first thing I'm going to add to this is a half a cup of honey. So I'm going to go ahead and get this. And pour in about half a cup. That looks about right. I'm going to pour this in. Oh, snap. Then we're going to go in with a half a cup of coconut oil. So I forgot to tell you about the peanut butter that we're going to use. We're going to use a cup of natural Jif peanut butter right here. And I've kind of moved the pot to the back eye because that was getting really hot really fast and it was kind of freaking me out that I wasn't going to have enough time. Okay, now we have the cup of peanut butter and we're gonna take that and just pour that in like so. And then we're just gonna mix until it is all smooth. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys. So it's been a couple of minutes now, not long at all. And it says wait until it's blended smoothly. And then you're going to take it off of the heat and add the oats to it. So I'm going to add this to this back eye right here. I'm going to turn off the front. And this is two and a half cups of oats. And we are just going to pour some in. And stir. You see it starting to form, guys, right here. I'm going to pour more of these in, pour the rest in, and you're just going to stir them all together. If you know what no-bake cookies are, this is a lot like the no-bake cookies, but it's a lot healthier. You can add some different things to spice them up, like you can add coconut or raisins, whatever you had on hand. I wanted to use just the simple basic recipe though for those that, you know, may not be a fan of fancy stuff. So this is what it looks like all together. I'm gonna let it cool down for just a second so I'm not scalding my hand before we start rolling out our pumpkins. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this awesome healthy little treat for your Halloween parties. It's also good for any other kind of party that you have you make these into bars, you can do like any other kind, kind of fun shapes to them. Just some tips on the pumpkins, make the balls bigger. Yeah, learn that like second batch into making these. But definitely make the balls bigger. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more cooking videos from Tay, then be sure to give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you're looking for a guilty DIY Halloween treat, then click on over to Kaylee's channel and check out her video because I'm so excited. It is going to be delicious. Are we having a fabulous day and until Friday?